Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a very simple chatbot with ChatGPT, and we're going to do it using Python and just a few lines uh, of code. I have here a Google Colab uh, script, and it, this will have three steps. We have the setup, we have the open API key, and then here we have our bot. And I'm going to kick it off with the setup, and I need to install the open AI library. So pip install open AI and here you go. Let me do control enter. And then I'll also need to import the library. And while this is running, we have here the open uh, AI API key, which is hidden um, as this is uh, individual. And of course, each time that they use it, there is a tiny cost. So to avoid it going viral, at least my key, and I'm going to leave it uh, here just for myself. Uh, then here, I'm going to import open AI and let me do control enter. And then I'll kick it off here with my bot. And this is going to be a function. So I'm going to do define chat and then with and then GPT uh, three. And then I open here parentheses and the input will be the prompt colon and then I start going to add some documentation uh, as well. So I'm going to do these uh, three quotes. And then then here, I'm going to be sent a prompt to GPT-3 uh, uh, chat model and returns the generated response. And now that we have here the documentation, I'll kick it off. So generated response and let me add here three quotes as well i need to focus here on the response so this is the main thing this has two steps the first one is the response where we define the model the message and then we have the interaction and this is the second part of this video response equals and then open ai and then dot chat uh, completion and then here dot create open parenthesis and then here first i need to start by defining the model and for this one i'm going to use the gpt that's the 3.5 which is the turbo one the one that's uh, very very fast and then here we go comma and now here i want to focus on the messages and there's two things here that I need to include as a list. So first, and so we open the list and then I start with the dictionary. So curly brackets, role, and then, so role is a system. Here we go. And then comma, and then content here. And this is cute, but it says you are a helpful assistant here we go and then uh, with a dot and then comma once more or better yet this one uh, this dictionary closes and i do a comma and then i start a new dictionary and then here so roll and this one needs to be inside quotes as well so roll colon and this one is user and then comma content and here this is the prompt that is then fed into the function so this is the function and then over here we need to have some kind of uh, return so here return and it is the response. And I'm already going to give you uh, the output because otherwise we need to do quite a bit of trial and error, but there's a lot of things in the response. And what you need to do is the choices, uh, which is the first one, index position zero. We focus just on the message and inside the message, we focus on the uh, content. But of course, feel free to have a look and just get the response first and then actually try to work with it. Now that we have here the function, we need to focus on how to interact with the user. And this is where Python, because it's programming uh, that is oriented to objects, actually comes to work. So if, 
double underscore name equals equals and then to the main again double underscore colon print and then here I print chat and then GPT uh, bot initialized initialized and then I continue so while this works is while and this is the part where the user uh, actually makes it work or not so while true colon and then we need to have the user uh, input and then we use of course the input and then so you colon and then this is where the prompt uh, comes in but we need to have in mind that we also may want to close this uh, chatbot and then of course over here you would do if user input dot uh, lower and so we put everything in lowercase to simplify so in and let's say they can do either exit or they can do for instance quit this would make it a stop so we would then print and just uh, you know chat gpt says goodbye and next what you want to do is that we would then break out of the chat now in case that it is not what we do is that we get the response and this response comes from using the function that we have just built chat with gpt3 and then where we put the user input and then we would then print um, chat gpt or we would do it within an f print so chat gpt uh, bot and then over here and then i put inside curly brackets the response and this is actually it so let me uh, run it see if it works so we have uh, the input so you so let's say explain me the universe here you go and we have a tiny error ah so no api key uh, provided so actually i should have run uh, this part here as well and so yeah of course we need to run the api key let me do a uh, control enter once more uh, explain the universe enter now it runs i think it usually it takes like 30 minutes to actually work uh, but let's see let me come back once it's done and there we have it i think it took around 30 seconds and the chat gpt bot says the universe is a vast and unimaginably large expanse that contains uh, all matter energy and space and then it continues this could actually be something uh, where you could try to truncate here's the answer uh, try a bit to put some design to it because if you need to scroll all the way to the right um, then it's not the nicest thing in the world now let me just do the last thing which is to exit our bot so let me do quit and that is it so chat gpt says goodbye and with this we are done don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like my content there is a link just in the description of this video until next time, have fun.